So before I get into this video here, I want to ask you guys a question. What is the lowest paying job you ever worked and what was the pay that you got from that job? And would you ever work for just 17 cents an hour? Because I spent three months working about 35 hours a week for an hourly rate of 17 cents per hour. What's going on you guys? I hope you're having a fantastic day and in this video we're going to be talking about the very early days of my YouTube channel. When I first started my YouTube channel when I was making very very little money with it and putting a massive amount of effort into it and I thought it would be interesting to actually sit down and calculate what my hourly rate was when I was doing this very early on. But before I get into this video, it is a Monday after all, and we are giving away a free lifetime membership to Stock Radar, my weekly stock analysis membership site. And this week's winner is Gun Sarah 52 G U N N Sarah 52 I already sent you an email saying you were the winner. Uh, so you won a lifetime membership to Stock Radar, my stock analysis membership site. And just so you know, next week's winner is going to be somebody who follows me on Instagram. So if you guys are not following me over there, there and you want to win a lifetime membership to Stock Radar, make sure you do so. That way you are in the drawing and we'll announce that winner same time next week here on a Monday. But what I want to talk about today in this video is primarily the two biggest mistakes I see people make when they are looking to go online and make money online or make passive income online. First of all, it's the fact that you make pretty much no money or very little money at all when you first get started. And the second piece of it is a lot of people try to build multiple income streams at once and both of these can be detrimental to your success when it comes to making money online or looking to achieve some kind of passive income. So first of all, let's start with the main one that seems to be a roadblock for people and that is the small amount of money you are making for a large amount of effort you are putting in. So when I first started my YouTube channel back in October of 2016, I was putting about three to five hours of work into this channel Monday through Friday and six to eight hours a week on Saturday and Sunday so that averages out to be about 34 hours per week of time I was putting into this YouTube channel. So I put in about 34 hours a week of work and in the first three months alone that adds up to 408 hours of work put into this YouTube channel and the question you might have is how much money did I make over those first three months? So I mean I put in 408 hours, let's say I could have gotten a job uh, at a fast food place for 10 bucks an hour and maybe I would have made $4,080 in that time frame. But I decided that I wanted to put my effort into my YouTube channel and instead I made a little bit over $60. So the exact amount was actually $69.72 over the course of three months. It was uh, just under $70 actually, but for three months of work, for 408 hours of work, I made $70-ish. And so that ends up being an hourly rate of 17 cents per hour. So I could have gotten a job making 10 bucks an hour, maybe 10 or $12 doing fast food or doing who knows what. But instead, I said, I'm gonna do this and I'm gonna make 17 cents an hour. That right there is one of the main reasons why a lot of people fail when it comes to starting a business online, starting a business in general, earning passive income, is because it's very, very slow at first. And you have to be open to this idea that it's going to take a long time to see any real results. I mean, it literally took me six months until I was making any real income with this YouTube channel to the point where I was like, okay, this is going to work. And the other thing that you don't realize is that I've probably tried 10 or 15 other things in the past that were complete failures. So I would put a couple hundred, if not a couple thousand hours into a project, dedicate a lot of time and energy to it, and it would be a complete failure. So not only is this a lot of effort being put into an idea, it's a lot of effort you're putting into an idea that might not even work at the end. So if you're looking to make passive income, if you're looking to make income online or start a business, you have to be really freaking patient at the end of the day and understand you might be completely wrong and you just have to write it off as a learning experience. But I would say if you're gonna be looking to make income online, if you're gonna be looking to make passive income, at least dedicate six months to it before you even begin to question the validity of it and if it's working. Give it six months of time and if you're not making any money, learn from that experience and say, okay, I'm gonna try something else. And if it's a business, that might even be something like two years. You might have to put two years into a business before you're actually making any money with it. And I know a lot of people are out there running ads and promoting things and saying, oh, you know, you can make $1,000 a day online and you can do this in three days. You know, if anybody could really do that, then uh, everyone would be doing that. And so don't be gullible. Don't be falling for these ads people are putting out there saying you're going to make uh, some kind of crazy amount of money every single day 
after you take a webinar and uh, build some kind of uh, website of some kind, any real passive income that's going to be sustainable for a long period of time is going to take you uh, at least six months, if not a couple years, to really build and get established. But you have to really be prepared to work for a wage of somewhere around maybe 15 cents an hour, maybe even five cents an hour. Or maybe you're going to work for zero dollars an hour because you know you're going to make a lot of money down the road, or you're one step closer to the right idea that is going to make you a lot of money. But you have to be ready for that and most people are just not ready because they want to see the money they want that instant gratification they want to be paid and look if you want to be paid you can jump on craigslist you can jump on uh, some kind of help wanted site and you can probably find a way to earn active income in one hour from now maybe you're going to haul bricks or maybe you're going to clean someone's car uh, you know, but if you're looking to make passive income, you're going to have to be a lot more patient and you're going to have to have a much more long term vision. Now, the other way I see people going wrong with this is by trying to do multiple things at once. So we've all heard the quote before, the average millionaire has seven different streams of income. But do you think the average millionaire built all seven of them at once? So let's say, for example, the millionaire was working for seven hours a day. Or no, let's say they were working for 14 hours a day, uh, working quite a bit of time. But let's say they were building seven streams of income at once. So if you're putting two hours a day of energy into seven different things, do you think that's really going to work out for you? Or should you put 14 hours of energy into one thing, do a really good job at it, figure out how to make money with it, and then down the road find out another way to make money, another income stream? So one of the main mistakes people make is by trying to do too many different things at once. They're trying to start uh, drop shipping, but they're also going to be uh, looking into real estate and, oh, wait a minute, I'm going to do social media marketing and, oh, I'm also going to start putting out vending machines and uh, get involved in this multi-level marketing business. All of these things could work if you dedicate a lot of time and energy into that one thing. So I know the average millionaire has seven streams of income. You know, it's my goal too someday to have seven, 10, maybe 15 streams of income, but I'm not building them all at once. I'm doing them one at a time and building them slowly. And uh, that way it's gonna be sustainable. If you try to do too many things at once, you're gonna be too distracted. And uh, it would be kind of like trying to read seven books at once. If you uh, picked up a book and you read a chapter and then you picked up another book and you read a chapter and then you went all the way through that line of seven books, then you went back to the first one to read chapter two, is that gonna be the best way to consume that information? I would say absolutely not. By the time you're reading through that seventh book, you probably forgot what you even read in that first book. And so finish that one book and then move on to the next one. Finish one stream of income, get it built up, get it to the point where you have someone managing it for you or it's a purely passive income stream and then figure out how to make a second income stream and then figure out how to make a third. And maybe it's gonna take you five or 10 years to build up seven streams of income, but it's a lot better than trying to build seven of them in one year and just burning out and not dedicating enough time to each one of these things. But anyways, guys, that's going to wrap up this video here. That is my story of how I made 17 cents an hour for three months of time. And uh, just some general guidelines for you guys as far as looking to build passive income or build an online business. Uh, you need to be super patient and you also don't want to try to do too many things at once. But uh, thank you guys so much for watching this video. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram if you guys want to enter my weekly giveaway for Stock Radar. And if you guys are new to this channel, make sure you subscribe and hit that bell for notifications. And uh, drop me a comment down below with the lowest hourly wage you have ever worked for. And if it was for your own business, did you beat 17 cents an hour? Were you doing it for $0 an hour or two cents an hour? Let me know in the comments section below. But thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you in the next video. If you are interested in learning more about investing in the stock market, I've created a free course just for you. The link is in the description below. Here are a few other videos you might enjoy as well.